Manchester City now run these derby games. That's six out of seven for them. And Manchester United are consigned to their worst league start since 1986. There was a spirited fight back from Van Gaal's team, but nobody could conceal the chaos at the back of the side. They finished this match with two 19-year-olds and two midfielders in a back four that was once graced by the likes of Yap Stam and Gary Pallister and Steve Bruce and Rio Ferdinand. Smalling was sent off for two stupid offences, one lifting his leg when Joe Hart was kicking the ball out of his hands and secondly a wild lunge at uh, James Milner on the far side when Smalling was already on a yellow card. So an act of stupidity really undermined Manchester United. Their second half performance they will be pleased with even though uh, Di Maria and Van Persie and Rooney, I think, were again below their best. United fans will want to know why in the summer Van Hal either didn't sign top-class defensive reinforcements because he did, couldn't find any, or because he thought he could coach and improve the players that he has. Either way, they've made a pretty poor start in the first 10 games. 13 points is a poor tally for a United side. Manchester City actually looked very jumpy uh, when United started to attack them, and that will concern Pellegrini too. But overall, Manchester United have to go away and try and find some defensive consistency and organisation and structure that enables them to compete in games like this. Otherwise, City's stranglehold on these derby games will never be broken.